Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com. For a while now, you've been able to run Android on your HTC HD2 by running the Herit.exe Linux bootloader off of your micro SD card. Now there's actually a way to run Android on your HD2 through NAND storage, almost making it feel like your HD2 is natively running uh, Android. And now there are many ROMs available uh, for this method of putting Android on your phone, even ones with gingerbread. In this video, we're going to show you gingerbread, sort of, natively running on the HTC HD2 through the NAND memory tool. Okay, so I'm going to turn it on right now. We're going to see what will happen here. It's going to show me a splash screen for the Windows Mobile ROM I was using, an Energy ROM. Uh, and now it's going to boot into Android from NAND. So it takes just a, uh, a few minutes, and I'm going to cut back in uh, in a minute when it's all ready to go. And here we are, and I should mention that if you do this and you don't like the Android, you can go back to Windows Mobile. So here we are, I'm going to unlock the screen, and what we have is a kind of custom version of Gingerbread 2.3. You'll recognize a lot of it, the performance is good, the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and radios work. Uh, it just, it's Gingerbread on the HD2 running natively. So here we've got a Wi-Fi connection, it looks good. Let's dive to pocketnow.com. We've got the Gingerbread style keyboard here looking great. We'll run some benchmarks on this in a second to give you an idea of what kind of speed you can expect to see because you can presumably or definitely use this as your your uh, full-time operating system and actually run Gingerbread on your HD2. Uh, you were able to do this with the other method but with the NAND storage method things seem a little bit faster. So we are loading Pocket now. We can go into landscape mode. The accelerometer support is there. And here we go. Really good performance in the browser as it loads Pocket now. Okay, we're going to jump back home now. And it has support for uh, landscape, got a reflection there, in the home screen, as you can see. Okay, and so let's jump, uh, let's swipe around a little bit, kind of standard Android home screen stuff here. And let's go into Quadrant and run some benchmarks. Now, in order to do this on your HD2, some things have to be in place. For example, your radio needs to be updated and your HSPL uh, needs to be updated to one of the newer versions. And we'll put all the steps uh, in the post on pocketnow.com so you can know how to, how to get this going. Because it's not as easy as dropping some files on your SD card and going to a file browser and running herit.exe. But close. Let's see what the score comes out to for the, uh, the NAND Android on here uh, on, the, on the HD2. And we're almost finished here. It's doing some of those 3D tests. We should get a result pretty soon. Send the benchmark results up. And let's see what we get. Wow, pretty darn good. Uh, it's coming right a little bit better, better above the, the Galaxy S there, not as good as the Motorola Droid X. Definitely not, not as good as the Nexus One running Froyo, but pretty darn good uh, for something that's not intended to run on your HD2. So, of course, we can go back to the home screen, uh, go into the settings. Everything is, is pretty much normal here. We can go to About Phone, and we can go uh, take a look. This is Android 2.3.1, so kind of the, the latest version there. The pull-down notification has the black. This is obviously full-blown gingerbread, and it works pretty darn fast. There's no question that you could use this as your daily operating system. Even the little shutdown animation works. Boom. There you go. So again, we'll put links on pocketnow.com on how to get this running on your HD2. Really cool that this is even possible if you think about it. Uh, very interesting stuff, and there are tons of ROMs that are coming out with all different flavors uh, on, on XDA developers that you can use if you do the NAND method of loading Android onto your phone. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it, and thanks for watching. That's it for now.